WA police have charged four people over an attack and kidnapping of a teenager in Perth. It's alleged the 15-year-old was punched, kicked, stabbed and held in a house against his will last October. Three of the four accused were already facing charges in relation to the death of WA teen Cassius Turvey. The two incidents are separate. Drama for our Aussie cricketers with one of our biggest names stranded in Sydney because his visa had not been approved. Pakistani-born Usman Kawaz is the only member of the squad or touring party to encounter any issues getting into India ahead of the series starting next week. Cricket Australia is hopeful he'll be able to fly tomorrow. A rally passing by the funeral service for the late Cardinal George Pell tomorrow in Sydney will go ahead after all. It's understood police and organisers have reached a compromise. The PM will meet with the NT Chief Minister tomorrow to discuss a plan of action to haunt rising crime in Alice Springs. Anthony Albanese admits the problems are multifaceted. Some of these issues are intergenerational. Uh, they're not, there aren't easy off-the-shelf solutions. Uh, it's not just about uh, alcohol, it's about employment, it's about service delivery, it's about getting staff on the ground. And cost of living during the December quarter was the highest seen in two decades. That's according to the OBS, who say there was a 3.2% rise for those on wages or salaries. Meantime, gas prices are set to start going up across several states, including Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia today. How does your super size up? Visit mlc.com.au forward slash supersizer to take a super check and to find out important information about MLC. Richmond defender Josh Gibkiss is booked in for surgery after suffering a serious hamstring injury. Halfback Daniel Rioli insists the Tigers have the cattle to cover the loss. We've got a lot of soldiers that can be replaced and we've got Biggie in that position at the moment. Yeah, Noel Bolter as well, they can play multiple roles. So we've got um, some weapons there that can help us out. And North Melbourne isn't standing Taron Thomas down. Instead, he has undergone training and education to deal with behavioural issues. The club's issued a statement this afternoon in relation to media reports. Ward says the whole club understands the significance of this matter. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. The rest of Wednesday for the Limestone Coast cloudy conditions and a top of 19, dropping down to 10 tonight. Thursday showers, windy and 17. Get free breaking news about our community. Download the Listener app, search for the Limestone Coast and add to your favourites now.